Western toads and northern leopard frogs are climate sensitive species, and their populations are declining. One species that does really well with warmer temperatures, however, are non native bullfrogs. That's why Idaho Fish and Game has started a program to stop the northward migration of bullfrogs up the Kootenai Valley toward the Canadian border. We're priming Boundary Smith Creek Wildlife Management Area to do a bunch of amphibian habitat restoration work. One of our concerns about doing that work is we have this non-native species bullfrogs that are making their way toward the WMA. Well, bullfrogs are not native to northern Idaho. They're native to the southeastern U.S. They have this really crazy life cycle where they actually move from pond to pond. What they do is they lay eggs and they're cannibalistic, so they eat their own tadpoles. And the reason we're concerned about them is that they spread disease and they compete with native amphibians and they predate and eat native amphibians and just about everything else in their path. Chakaron. Okay, it's shocking. What we're out here tonight is doing electrofrogging. And what it is is this, this kind of experimental technique to remove bullfrogs from ponds. We want to remove the bullfrogs because they're a non-native species and they're a threat to some of our native amphibians. It's like western toads and northern leopard frogs. All right, I see a big one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Chocker on. Okay, Okay, um, do you want to be on the right of it again? Sure, that'd be great. Okay. All right, I'm going in. I'm going to keep the beam on it while we go in. You ready? All right, here we go. Tonight went really well. Uh, this is our second visit to the pond, so we only got five this time. The well, last time we got 15. And so that's great because it means that our frog reduction appears to be working. The bullfrog removal project is just the first step in the climate adaptation work we're planning for the WMA. In addition to frogs, the planned work will benefit several other climate-sensitive species, including grizzly bears, bumblebees, and even jumping slugs. <laughs>